in this video we will derive the equation for the torque uh, transmitted by the hollow shaft okay so how much torque is generated in the hollow shaft okay in the previous video we derived the torque equation for the solid shaft okay uh, just i'll recall that one the torque developed in the solid shaft is t equal to that is pi by 16 times pi divided by 16 into tau that is tau into d raised to 3 this we derived in the previous the video uh, that is for solid shafts where tau is maximum shear stress developed at the outer surface d is the diameter of the uh, solid shaft okay the t is the torque developed maximum torque since here maximum shear stress is there this is the maximum torque developed okay in the same way today uh, in this video we will derive the same torque for the hollow shaft for that i consider the hollow shaft so whatever the, this uh, blue circle is there this is the hollow uh, hollow shaft so inside radius of the hollow shaft is ri capital ri and outside is r not r not and whatever the shear stress developed in the outside maximum shear stress it is tau it is tau it is related to this this is maximum shear stress okay so for analyze purpose we are considering the small elemental ring same in the previous uh, the video we derived the same way uh, we do that okay I consider a small elemental ring uh, the radius it is the its radius is small r and its thickness is dr okay so we will go the one by one here so consider a hollow shaft shown in figure okay so let what is ri ri is in a uh, inner radius inner radius of shaft and how about di related to di is inner diameter okay inner diameter inner diameter of shaft and uh, r naught and d naught equal to outer radius it is outer radius and outer diameter of shaft of shaft okay so now what is the tau tau is the maximum shear stress at the at r uh, at, at r not at outside the maximum shear stress at outer surface outer surface r r not it is at r not okay now consider a small elemental uh, ring consider small elemental ring let uh, what is small r r is radius of ring right radius of ring what is dr dr is the thickness of the ring thickness of a ring elemental ring okay now one more term q i'll write q equal to the shear stress shear stress on the elemental ring when it is smaller okay because it is different for uh, in the different uh, diameters okay so here is the maximum tau i denoted here okay so here is the q i'm denoting q is the shear stress at r small r okay at small r now 
we had the relation so we already know the relation that is tau by r tau by r that is related to outer the maximum shear stress in, in the, into the uh, divided by radius equal to q divided by r equal to constants r log constants here we started the same uh, uh, in the previous video also we started with the same equation here because it is constant for uh, all the sections here okay so q is the shear stress at, uh, at small r and r is the uh, radius of the elemental ring so from this the q equal to that is shear stress on the elemental ring equal to tau into r divided by r okay that will be put a just said right tau into r by r r by r this is the shear stress on the ring in terms of the maximum shear stress now i'll i need the turning force turning force on the elemental ring when once i calculate the turning force i can calculate the turning moment turning moment that is torque on the elemental ring when once i calculated the torque on the elemental ring i can calculate the whole uh, the torque on the whole the uh, hollow shaft by integrating from inner radius to outer radius r i to r not okay so that's why first i'll write the turning moment turning force turning force on ring equal to shear stress on the ring shear stress on the ring into area area on the ring into area of ring area of ring here okay so shear stress q into what is the area of ring here it is 2 pi r into dr right 2 pi small r into dr this is the area of the elemental ring this will be equal to what is q q is the uh, shear stress on the ring is how much tau into r divided by r into 2 pi r into dr right this is r is r not this is r not and this is r not because this is the outside and here also r not will get here okay so here also r not okay so this will be tau into r square into 2 pi divided by r not into dr right into dr so what is the next step next step is the turning moment right turning moment on ring what is the formula turning moment on ring is turning force turning force on the ring into the distance from the center to the ring center to the ring here okay turning force on ring into distance from center to the ring right from the center to the ring to the ring so how much is the turning force generated here we are already calculated here tau into r square into 2 pi divided by r not r not into dr into dr so what is the distance from the center to the ring here r small r it is small r okay so now simplify here this will be equal to turning moment just i write this is dt the on the ring turning moment or this is also called as torque this is also called as torque right torque on the ring torque on the ring 
so dt equal to tau into r cube into 2 pi divided by r naught into dr into dr now this is on elemental ring now if i want the torque or turning moment on the hollow shaft i need to integrate from ri to r naught for hollow shaft for total hollow shaft hollow shaft comma torque equal to i need to integrate ri inner radius to outer radius ri to r not into dt right so that will be equal to how much integration of ri to r not or dt is how much tau into r cube into 2 pi divided by r not into dr to so dr okay so now this is t this is torque total torque on the hollow shaft equal to integration of ri to r not uh, just remove the constants outside what are the constants here tau is the constant and this capital uh, r not is also constant 2 pi also constant only this is the variable small r cube is variable so i am removing here tau by r not into 2 pi into 2 pi integration of r i to r not r cube into dr into dr okay so now again simplify further simplification t equal to tau into divided by r not into 2 pi okay so integrate that one r is to 4 divided by 4 so r i to r not okay so again further simplification this two here this two that is tau into pi divided by r not if you take this one is outside into 2 this is 2 okay how much this one upper upper limit r not r not raised to 4 minus r i raised to 4 okay so now what is r, r i and r not r i is the inner radius and r not is outer radius substitute r i is how much r inner radius is d i by 2 right inner diameter divided by 2 and r not is outer radius d not divided by 2 d not divided by 2 therefore t equal to tau into pi divided by r not this is d not by 2 into 2 here d not by 2 raised to 4 minus di by 2 raised to 4 okay so for the simplification this two to cancel here this will be equal to 2 pi divided by d not divided by d not uh inside how much d not raised to 4 by 16 minus di raised to 4 divided by 16 here okay again for the simplification t equal to total torque on the hollow shaft equal to 2 pi divided by d not into uh, d not raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 divided by 16 divided by 16 here okay so just i write this uh, simplification here this is tau into pi sorry this is tau and this is also tau sorry for this okay this is tau into pi okay so tau pi by 16 just i take pi by 
into tau that is d naught raised to 4 minus di raised to 4 divided by d naught right divided by d naught this is how the torque the total torque developed on the hollow shaft so we need to remember how to remember for the hollow shaft and the for the solid shaft as uh, in the beginning i uh, i just wrote the equation here for the solid shaft for this is for hollow we derived just now for solid shaft torque equal to same pi by 16 pi by 16 tau into d raised to d cube d cube pi by 16 is same in both hollow and this is for solid this is for solid pi raised to 16 is same for both and tau is the maximum shear stress developed on the outer surface but here in the solid only one diameter we are there that is outside diameter it is d cube but in case of the hollow we are getting the one is outer diameter and one is inner diameter d naught and di so d naught raised to 4 outer raised to 4 minus inner raised to 4 divided by d naught only this is the difference between hollow and solid shaft torques here okay